Hey folks, I hope all is well with everyone. So this is a uh, different one. Um, hopefully it's going to be pretty short and because I wanted to be pretty concise. Um, this is something I just found out about like in this past week, like maybe a week ago. Um, and I didn't write any of this down, no bullet points, so I'm just going to wing this. It should be okay. Um, but um, it's a new feature that I found and that as far as I know it's unannounced now like I said I discovered this sometime earlier this week what is today Friday um maybe Monday Sunday it's it definitely in the past week so but I couldn't figure I figured I couldn't figure out how to use it it's a new 16 level uh, function okay um, it's called slice now I want to run through this really quick because um, the point is, well, I want to sh show you this, you know, because to me, it's it's unannounced. Let me let me add that. I love 16 levels because um, <clears throat> there's so much that you can do with it, okay? Uh, there's so many different things. And so, that being said, um, I'm I'm always using it. I'm using, you know, articulations and, and tune. And speaking of articulations, so... That was the last addition to 16 levels that, that I knew, even that's announced. Um, it was announced uh, uh, on the, if you had the MPC, um, well, it was announced for the up, the uh, release, but if you have the MPC Bible or the MPC Bible 3, um, MPC 3 Bible, sorry, um, you know, they update with every update of the MPC. So with the 3.6 update, they talked about the articulations feature which was awesome i remember even doing a short about it was titled mpc 3.6 articulations are wild and they are but what i'm getting at is um so i'm in you know 16 levels all the time and i never notice a slice function and the weird thing is that it's it's right above articulation and i swear it's never there it's not and here let me tell you this i looked it up when i first noticed it and i saw nothing on it nothing and then um, a couple days ago, I started trying to, you know, mess around. That's when I figured out how to, you know, to get it to work. I couldn't forget, like I said, I saw the function, couldn't get to figure out how to get it to work. A couple few days ago, I figured out how to get it to work. And, um, um, I still hadn't seen anything, you know, nothing at all. No announcement. So to me, it's like an unannounced, almost like Easter egg. I, I don't know. Um, it's nothing in the MPC 3.6 um bible at all so i'm gonna run through this really quick and show you how it works okay because i want to get sorted to a discussion um it's going to be very quick again um and i'm going to explain what i think like i basically have like two there's two benefits you know the pros and the cons i see two benefits or two pros and one one definite con and um but i, I could be wrong about that uh that con there so I'm going to show you how to do it real quick, and then uh, we'll go from there. Again, this will be quick. So to do this, you're going to want, um, well, three things. Obviously, you're going to want a sample. Um, you're going to want a blank drum programmer, blank drum track, whatever they call them now, tracks. Yes, they're tracks. Um, and um, that's that. So, And then we're going to want to take the sample, and we're going to want to chop it up and you can do that in any order but this is how I do it is so I've got my got my sample already uh, picked um, you could put it on any pad I just go right to one boom there so that's what you need to do have your sample put it onto a pad obviously because number 16 levels works by selecting a pad and then <clears throat> spreading it out so you'll see now and come back out here to your sample edit now what you do is make 16 chops. Uh, let's see. All right. Now, what we would normally do, right? Well, first off, what I normally do is, is I would get more than 16 chops especially as long as that that sample is so that to me that's the first limitation there is that you can only have 16 but we'll discuss that here in a minute so 
what we would normally do after this ride is we would hit the shift to convert to you know your drum program you, you know yeah. uh, but um, I'm not gonna do that we're gonna do it sliced come back out to your main and um, you, you select that pad of course and then your 16 levels and then come down and select slice and now what it's done is so you guessed it. it's got your slices there yeah and so now now it's not edited I don't want to waste the time editing that is yes I know it's off but let's talk about the pros and the cons okay to me the first um pro is that when you're editing, um, everything's global. And what I mean by that is if you were editing a drum program um, and you wanted to edit all the pads um, together, it's not that big of a deal, but you, you come here, I think, select all. Um, and that way, you know, you'd have, you'd be able to um, edit them globally. Otherwise, you'd have to tap each pad and edit them separately, and you may want to do that. Um, but, you know, like, for instance, here, the amp envelope, let's see, if you want to, right now, come back out to your main and... Right, see? So, the fact that it's because remember and I keep forgetting this because it's on one pad which is going to lead me to my next thing here so the first pro that I see or advantage is like you can um, edit everything globally you know uh, because it's on one pad and so now leading into the next thing uh, then I thought here when I just did my cut there I'll be honest I just thought you know what I'm thinking of a limitation is that we have only 16, right? Uh, that we only have 16. And uh, chops. I'm like, but wait a minute. We have a drum program with 15 more pads. So why not see if we can't load up, you know, essentially 16 samples, you know, and chop them all differently. So before we do that, I want to record in um, what we have. So you can see what it looks like, cause it looks different. And uh, oh, so let's do that real quick. Okay, now our grid. Now you see what I mean? Is like when you do with a drum program or drum track it's staggered because we're going up the pads but because it's on one pad it's going to be there which you know on one lane which i thought huh that's weird but that's what led me to the thought huh well then we have 15 other pads to fill so i wanted to be short but let's do this real quick experimental and then um see if we can load up you know one more sample at least and if we can do that then i assume we can load as many samples as we want on here chop them all up differently and then really get some different layer going on but let me do one more sample um because this is experimental and that's the whole point okay is i want to go ahead and say after i do this the whole goal here is to spark conversation hopefully some of you folks out there that are watching this have done this or know how to do this or if not you'll follow along do this and then experiment because i'm going to be doing this um throughout the week i'm haven't seen anything on the forums about it. Um, nothing online about it. As of a few days ago, nothing at all. Um, so I'm going to make a post in the, in the NPC forum about it and see if I can get some um, some answers there. And then, like I said, folks, please, this is a place of learning. Um, I, again, I don't know everything. I just learned this. Um, I may even doing not, not even doing it the right way. I'm not sure. So um, try this out, or if you know about it, Let's discuss some benefits between this and a drum program. So that's what I've already started to do, is I have gone ahead and um, started a project, two, two, two projects with the same sample, right? And I've done one 
where the 16 levels and the other one with a drum program so far I was thinking well you know I have 64 sli or not 64 it's like bank C so like 47 slices on the drum program one where I only have 16 right on the um, uh, 16 level slice one but check this out let's try this out live right now and we'll see I'm thinking we can load these up because you know, again you know I get to see they're all free so when you turn the 16 levels off so um see your menu browser and let's be I got one here so let's go ahead and just load it here right next to it yep okay yeah so Ooh, that's nice too. Uh, sample edit. Okay, now back to bank. Hey, so. <clears throat> uh, so we got a 16 and back to me sorry little your brain for us so we got that original sample here okay the well, 16 level should still be there right okay yep it's there now come out let's try the 16 level it let's see if it <laughs> okay cool okay so that was my point so you see we can fill this whole thing up with samples if you wanted you know you know what I mean and uh, they're in the same key actually so this will I'm gonna continue on with this all right so I'll leave you at that I don't want this to get too long but now I hope this made sense um, it's a new feature um, it's not announced um, I would call it hidden yeah, so I'm going to call it hidden, unannounced, um, 16 level feature. Um, so, again, let's have a discussion, folks. Um, not right now, but, you know, if you know, if you've done this and you know about this, then let's discuss pros and cons versus, again, this versus drum programs, okay? Because uh, you can see what I could just do there. I just, uh, you know, didn't think about, I thought about the 16 level limitation, but again, I just loaded up two samples in the same key. If we could do that with, you know, you don't have to fill up all 16, but imagine if you could fill up, you know, six or eight of that with different samples with 16. Each one of those has 16 levels. You're getting way more than you would normally get. Well, depending on what you do. Yeah, you, you could get a lot, a lot of different things and combinations out of that. So that to me, that's a pro. So let's, um, if you want, you know, I'm going to make a um, um, post on the NPC forum. And if you folks don't mind, uh, please let's uh, work on this experiment together. Um, let's and have a discussion. All right, folks. Um, until next time, um, I'll keep you posted in the comment section. And again, feel free um, to post on my community um, uh, in my community post. I I'll leave it open for discussions uh, about anything technical, or even if you want to have a conversation. All right, folks. Hope you have a good one.